Hello everyone, myself Ramnit Kumar Singh and I am teaching you Heat and Mass Transfer for your gauge examination. So my dear students, let us see the conservation of mass equation that is your continuity equation. Okay, let us see your continuity equation. Equation my dear students. So maybe you have seen in the fluid mechanics, but let us see this, what is happening. So if you want to calculate the continuity equation, what is happening there? Let us see. In the boundary layer, you have seen. Let us say I am considering a plate. Let us say I am considering a plate, my dear students. That is your plate. Or let us take the plate to be hot. Let us enjoy that topic, my dear students. So this is your plate. Okay. This is your plate. And some fluid is coming from this direction, from this direction over the plate. So let us say some fluid is coming from this side. That is your cold fluid. That is your cold fluid, my dear students. So what will happen? Let us say this is having some in a velocity u and this is having some temperature t infinite. Temperature t infinite. So as soon as this will touch this plate, what will happen? There will be water sticking to the surface. And like this, there will be some boundary layer. Yes or no, my dear students? There will be some boundary layer generation. Yes. Now, if you will see in this boundary layer, what is happening? The temperature you have seen, the velocity profile you have seen. So what I, I will consider is, let us take, that is your laminar boundary layer. Then transition is occurring. Then transition is occurring, then your turbulent boundary layer, and that is your transition, my dear students. That is your transition, okay. Now, if the surface temperature is Ts, then what will happen? There will be some velocity gradients inside the boundary layer, my dear students. So let us say, wow. So, like this, like this, there will be some velocity gradients. Yes, sir, the velocity will change. Yes sir, the velocity will change my dear students, yes or no? So, I want to analyze the element inside this boundary layer so that I can totally calculate, I can calculate the total uh, uh, like mass flow rate inside the volume, inside this particular element. So, let us take a control volume my dear students. Of, in this side I am taking x, x direction is this, this is your x direction. And this is your y direction, my dear students. So what will be this? This is I am taking dx, and this is I am taking dy. So this element belongs to this what? This particular boundary layer. So if you want to calculate the continuity equation, this is nothing but conservation of mass principle. This is based on conservation of mass principle my dear students mass principle and what it says that mass can never be created mass can never be created or destroyed or destroyed but it can flow it can flow in a confined passes, confined passes my dear student, confined passes, so it can flow, so it can flow in a confined passes, let us take that not only, in a confined passes and all, all the mass must be accounted, all the mass must be accounted during the flow process my dear students during the flow process now let us analyze now consider a control volume in boundary layer consider a control volume that is your control volume my dear students particular element i am taking control volume 
from boundary layer my dear students so that is your control volume that is your control volume my dear students okay now in this this is your dx sorry this is your dy my dear students and this is your dx this is your dx so what is happening there is u velocity in this direction and i am considering the v velocity in this direction my dear students the v velocity in the y direction y direction my dear students so i can take that important not can be this this mass flow rate is given by mass flow rate is equal to nothing but density if density of the fluid flowing inside this is rho density into average velocity average velocity into area into area my dear students density into average velocity into area so now i am applying the conservation of mass principle so whatever the mass will go inside this particular control volume control volume will come out will come out let us say u is entering let us say u is entering so if i will talk about the mass at inlet what will be the mass at inlet let us see so mass at inlet inlet is given by m inlet m inlet and this will be given by what so velocity in this direction is u so i have taken the velocity in this direction is u my dear students and i have taken the velocity v in this direction that is your v so what will be the change of velocity with respect to what with respect to space with respect to space my dear students so i am considering the steady state conditions the steady state conditions my dear students so what will happen that velocity u will change in this direction with respect to space and this will be given by that is equal to u plus that will change with respect to dx my dear students so this will be du by dx du by dx into dx okay my dear students similarly the velocity v will change with respect to that y dy my dear students with respect to space and this will be given by v plus del v by del y del v by del y into dy into dy so if i will consider that total mass flow inside the control volume is equal to total mass flow rate outside that flowing out of the control volume what i will take so i am taking that mass flow into control volume into control volume my dear students is equal to mass flow rate mass flow rate out of control volume that is your principle out of control volume conservation of mass my dear students so let us take it so what will the mass at inlet so mass at inlet nothing but it will be equal to rho density multiplied by what average velocity into area so what is your density rho is already there for the fluid it is constant what i am considering also so uh, second number first i have taken a steady state and second that is incompressible flow incompressible fluid my dear students that is rho1 is equal to rho2 that is equal to rho my dear students that is constant so this will be given by rho into u multiply by area what will be the area for this dy into 1 dy into 1 so i am taking that inlet is equal to 1 my dear students okay so dy into 1 my dear students very good so what will be the mass at outlet mass at exit of control volume exit of control volume volume in x direction my dear students in x direction that is your x direction x direction so what will be the mass outlet at control volume this will be given by rho again u what is the change in velocity that is u plus del u by del x into dx my dear students multiplied by area so what will be the area dy into 1 dy into 1 my dear students dy into 1 so if i want to calculate the total mass flow rate in x direction what will be this mass out minus mass in so mass of the control volume will become equal to mass of control volume 
or we can directly equate them because we have taken the conservation of mass with whatever the mass is coming that mass is going so we have done for the x direction let us see that is first equation equation number one equation number two let us see mass flow rate in x direction mass flow rate in x direction my dear so y direction y direction y direction my dear students so what will the mass flow rate in y direction at inlet at inlet so at inlet this will be given by v into density that is density into velocity v that is average velocity v into area dx into 1 my dear students so this will be given by rho into v into dx into 1 my dear students let us take the equation number third so similarly mass flow rate out of control volume mass flow rate out of control volume control volume in y direction y direction what will be this so this will be given by again rho density multiplied by average velocity what is the average velocity in the y direction at outlet that is v plus del v by del y v plus del v by del y into dy my dear students multiply by area what is the area dx into 1 dx into 1 my dear students so now let us see this is third this is fourth now combining all the equations so what is the total mass so i will take m total at inlet at inlet that is x and y both is equal to m total at outlet that is x and y both so if i will see this and combine all the equations what it will become let us see my dear students so i will have this so number one inlet number two inlet so this will become rho of u dy into one dy into one plus rho of v rho of v dx into one my dear students dx into one rho of v dx into one is equal to the outlet that is for my dear student that is for inlet let us see for outlet let us see for outlet so what will be the mass flow rate at outlet so this will be rho of u rho of u plus del by del u del by del x of u into dx multiplied by multiplied by dx multiplied by dy multiplied by dy by my dear students multiplied by dy plus rho that is density into the change in velocity that is v of v plus del by del v by del y in y direction dy into dx my dear students dx so if i will see clearly i can cancel both these terms that is rho u dy and rho v dy my dear students rho v dx so these terms can be easily cancelled so these terms can be easily cancelled so what i will be left with let us see so this will be equal to 0 is equal to rho into rho into del u by del x into dx dy plus rho into del v by del y into dx dy my dear students so can i take rho dx dy is what multiplied by 1 is nothing but the total mass total mass my dear students so let us see let us cancel it so this will become this will become equal to so if this term will be written as like this that is del u by del x plus del v by del y multiplied by rho into dx dy into 1 so rho into v that is nothing but mass is equal to 0 so this quantity cannot be equal to 0 can't be equal to 0 so i have to put this quantity equal to 0 then i will have the final equation my dear students which will be this so i will have one thing this is equal to that is equal to del u by del x del u by del x plus del v by del y is equal to 0 and this is your continuity equation my dear students continuity equation for steady state steady state two dimensional flow two dimensional flow my dear students and incompressible flow 
you. So we hope you have understood this concept, my dear students. So this was your continued equation, and we have applied only conservation of mass and take into the consideration the density, average velocity, and the area. So this was very simple, my dear students. Thank you so much.